Welcome to the Loosen Up Your Painting podcast, the podcast for creatives looking to get inspiration, tips and advice on anything to do with art and creativity. If you enjoy creating something, then this is the podcast for you. I'm your host, Malcolm Dewey, a full-time artist at MalcolmDeweyFineArt.com and let's begin the show. Today, we're delving into the transformative power of pursuing life-affirming activities, particularly the joy of creative expression through painting. Tap into your creativity and embark on a journey of self-actualization. So let's have a look at what this really means and how you can put this into a real-life practice. Let's kick things off with the wisdom of Tony Robbins. He famously said, The path to success is to take massive, determined action. And what better way to take action than by engaging in a life-affirming activity like painting? It's not just about putting brush to canvas. It's about tapping into your innermost thoughts, emotions and desires. It's about unleashing your creativity and embracing the process of self-discovery. Now let's talk about why keeping your hands and right brain busy is a form of self-actualization. When we engage in creative activities like painting, we activate different parts of our brain that are often neglected in our day-to-day lives. Painting stimulates our right brain, the seat of creativity, intuition, and emotion. It allows us to tap into our subconscious mind, access our deepest thoughts and feelings, and express them in a tangible form. In essence, painting is a meditation, a way of quieting the noise of the outside world and connecting with our inner selves. Now, you may spend most of your day exercising your left brain, doing all sorts of logical things. I know left brain work is not my strongest suit, and uh, perhaps that's why I never enjoyed maths at school. But anyway, that's another topic. Whenever I got into painting, that was the fun. That's what I enjoyed doing. I could do that for hours on end and just create. And that was using the right brain, the part that really needed and wanted more exercise. But painting isn't just beneficial for our mental and emotional well-being. It's also great for our physical health. Studies have shown that engaging in creative activities like painting can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and boost our immune system. It's a holistic form of self-care that nourishes our mind, our body, and soul. Now let's talk about why painting is great for people of all ages. For the young, painting is a way of fostering creativity, imagination, and problem-solving skills. It encourages them to think outside the box, explore new ideas, and express themselves freely. For the middle age, painting is a form of stress relief, a way of escaping the pressures of work and family life, and reconnecting with their inner child. And something I can really testify to, as painting relieved certainly a lot of stress during my professional years as an attorney. So... I would work in the afternoons and evenings on art whenever I could, and that kept me sane and also set me up for going into a professional artist's career. So you never quite know how it's going to pan out, but whichever direction, it's certainly beneficial. Now for the elderly, painting is a way of preserving memories, maintaining cognitive function, and finding a sense of purpose and fulfillment in later years. But perhaps most importantly, painting is a powerful antidote to the digital addiction, self-doubt and apathy that plague so many of us today. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with distractions and expectations, painting offers a respite, a sanctuary where we can slow down, unplug 
and reconnect with ourselves. It's a reminder that we are more than just consumers of content. We are creators and in some way or other we are able to manage our own destiny through creativity. So take action now and start painting. Whether you're a seasoned artist or a complete beginner, there's no better time to unleash your creativity or rekindle that uh, skill that you haven't been working on for many years. In so doing, you'll embark on a journey of self-discovery. And remember the words of Tony Robbins, the only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. So pick up the paintbrush, let your imagination run wild, or just relax and let it guide you. Watch and see how your life transforms before your eyes. Now perhaps you're not sure how to start, or maybe there are stumbling blocks in the way. Things like not having enough time, or the moment is not right. Maybe you do not have all the materials you need, and you feel you're not good enough or will look foolish. Maybe they are just chores to do. The list goes on forever. Of course, these are all excuse crutches or procrastination, things to derail us. So yes, it can be difficult to justify painting when your mind tells you there are more important things to do. This is your ego protecting you. But it also kills your spirit a little bit at a time. Deep down you know this is true, but it's difficult to break out. So my challenge to you is to take a step today to break this cycle of self-destructive thinking. Pick up a pencil or a pen or maybe a pastel. Get a piece of paper or a sketchbook, that's better, and start sketching something. Just pick something in your room, for instance, an object, no matter how mundane it may be. But now you're going to look at the object as a series of shapes of light and shadow. Forget its description as a particular object and just focus on its shapes and sketch those. Do this for 10 minutes and try to focus exclusively on this one simple task. Now when you are done, turn the page and do another sketch. Avoid self-critiquing your work. Just do the sketches and repeat this the next day. You only need to work for 10 to 20 minutes. If you can keep this up for three weeks, you would have developed a new habit and also a special moment that you're going to look forward to. Now, all of a sudden, you notice your ego is not trying to stop you. It's in fact encouraging you and helping you to keep the date. Before you know it, you are adding to this creative task and growing a sense of self-awareness, accomplishment. Keep feeding this fledgling creative habit and it will continue to grow. Age is not a criterion either. I've got art students, young and old, some are in their 90s. Well done to anyone taking up time to create through art. It's a special thing and if you keep on doing this, you're going to find a new creative personality. Now if you're still struggling or maybe you just want to take things to a new level and get more support and encouragement and inspiration, consider joining my Artist Live channel. We have a monthly live class on new and interesting topics. You can watch the live class, paint along if you want to and then watch the recordings. You can also take up the painting challenge, download the free reference and share the results if you want to. It's all up to you. There's a vibrant community of artists supporting each other in the community section of the class as well. And this could help you keep your creative awakening alive and growing. So you can find out more about the Artist Life channel on my website or in the description. Okay, so that's the challenge. And that's it for the episode. So if you enjoyed this or found some inspiration, consider subscribing to the Loosen Up Your Painting podcast. Leave a review. Share this with your friends as well. That would be great. And once again, thank you for joining me and happy painting. Bye.